to save because the out-of-bounds area is very difficult to navigate. Samus is going to be off-screen for about 95% of it. And if I could ask when I'm when I'm actually out of bounds, if everyone could be as quiet as possible, because I really do need to hear. But uh, to actually get out of bounds, we need to actually climb through the other side of this door. And there's a little how it's a little <laughs> there's a little trick we do to get stuck in this door. Use this guy in the ceiling as kind of a uh, yeah, that was it. Um, I use him to know when to start running, and then we. Shoot a super when we're running at that door to get that guy to fall off the ceiling and this as we're going through the door so we can damage boost on this side of it and get stuck deep enough. So we can do this. Okay. gonna wait here for like 15 seconds for the music to die down because this is kind of loud and it repeats itself in the beginning of the criteria theme is actually really quiet I need to hear myself falling off the edge and hitting a block and when you're in ball it's kind of quiet doing that so I do want to go and show something off that I just found out today. So everything's all screwed up in the game, obviously. Um, but with the way that this is done, it forces me to save the animals. Uh, but I can still come down here for some reason. Yeah, you don't have to come down here. The animals yeah. are already saved. And there's no timer for the escape either. But I can go in here, and there's just nothing here because they're already <laughs> gone. I can still blow up the wall, but they're just gone. <laughs> so I thought I'd show that off. Does that make this the first marathon where they've been both saved and killed? <laughs> I guess so, yeah. Basically, the way X-ray scope works, when you use X-ray scope, it writes data into the game's memory, and it's it's based on where Samus is relative to the camera's position. So, when we get out of bounds, I'm dropping probably 20, 30 screens total, and the farther you go down, the more stuff you can start to overwrite. And in this case, I go down far enough, and I start to overwrite the event flag for the game being over, while the brain being dead, the escape sequence started, etc. Um, so that's basically it. And the only reason the colors really 
bug out there and go all oranges because there's some pallet stuff down there too that gets overridden. Um, but yeah, that's it. X-ray is a broken item. <laughs> Was fun. <laughs> it's not expected that's to get that first run, right? Yeah, that's. There's like crash blocks in the out of bounds area, I believe. Yeah, right? there's there's a lot of crash blocks and transition blocks that are really hard to avoid, especially when you can't actually see Samus on screen. And I found out today, like an hour and a half ago, that if you screw it up like five or six times in a row and crash the game or hit bad transitions, um, it puts new blocks in the out of bounds area, <laughs> and. I don't know what to do with them in there, so I have two extra cards with other saves, oh just God. in case, but <laughs> glad I didn't need them. <laughs> and it actually, like, it's not, it doesn't just put it on one file, it puts it on every file in, on the cartridge. It's really weird. <laughs> I don't understand.